Hi everyone, today we're going to try a very simple caddis lava. This fly, they don't come much simpler than this one. It only takes a couple of materials, of course you need a hook, and I'm going to be using these, it's a tan colored chenille stem. It's got a wire core, and we'll either use a peacock curl up for the head, and maybe brown ostrich hurl. In any event, I'm going to start by winding some uh, thread on the hook. Right now I'm using this orange monocord. Uh, you can use any type of thread. The only reason I'm using this one is because that was on the table from the last fly that I tied, which was a crystal bugger. A brown... <laughs> I mean a brown root beer fly, so sort of like the way I fly fish. When people ask me what are you going to use when you get there, I'm going to say the fly that I had I had on from the previous outing. Uh, I'll fish with the fly from the last outing first, and if that doesn't work, then I'll change. No. Saves one extra step. I don't know if it's laziness, but that's the way I do things. Anyway, so we've round the shank with some orange monocord. Next, we're going to get this tan wire chenille and we're just going to put it on the shank and just going to wrap it. Now this thing's got a wire core so it's going to add a little weight to the, the fly which is even better. But now we're just going to cut this chenille and the hook that I'm using is a size 8 number 7957 which is actually a heavy dry fly hook. Uh, the reason I'm using this is it'll show probably a little bit better in the uh, the video. So anyway, wind this on. We can cut it if we want somewhere up near here. Get a little closer. Flip the flyers over so they cut close to the shank. And. Push this back a little bit. We can straighten this wire bit out after. The reason I'm using a number eight hook is it'll uh, gives it enough gap between the body and the hook point. If, because this chenille is uh, about a quarter inch in diameter, I mean. Yeah, quarter inch in diameter or more, it uh, takes up a lot of space. So what we're doing is to provide a little room. We've already put the eye on. We're going to get fancy with this one. We're going to put some uh, few legs on. In this case, it's going to come from a grouse feather. We take a couple little bobules. Not much. This is a fancy version, so we're going big time here. The reason I'm making this fancy is because it's for the YouTube video. You know, it's spare no expense in the making of these movies. You know? That might be up for, a, for an Emmy or something. Or an Oscar. Anyway, we'll tie some couple of strands of brown ostrich hurl in up near here. It'll be too fancy. We'll spin this on. Twist them together a little. Fill the void here between the body and the head with this brown ostrich hurl collar. And We'll be off and run. I believe this a little.
Maybe we just give it a couple extra turns. Find our whip finisher amongst the junk on the table here. And get ready to fish. There you go. And I was taking my time with that one. So anyway, that's a uh, little caddis lava. Put a little head cement on here. Probably spruce this up a bit, make it look a little bit more presentable. try that one. This thing works. It's simple to tie. You can actually tie it in a, put the hook in a set of vice grips, wrap the, the wire chenille around the, the shank and tie in a strand of peacock curl or an ostrich curl, make the head and you're off and running. Anyway, catch you later. Bye.